and bodies, but supposedly recognized for title purposes by a variety of state athletic commissions. He generally starts fast, and judged by his... ...has contended ever since the home fight. I didn't hear a warning from the referee. Good right hand by Michael Spinks. ...ab against Spinks' right hand. The uppercut is something Cooney has used in previous precise jab by Spink. Coming back with the right. With movement and with punches of his own. Left There's hook. Michael now. A little bit more respect for Cooney. He didn't land. Another terrific left hand. By Michael Spink and another. Again, the... Michael standing much more flat. Really fast start for Michael Spink. Terrific right hand over in his corner just then to Victor Valley. And maybe a little bit looking for uh, some help from the corner and solving the problems that Spinks is presenting to him right now. Head inside Cooney's head. And cause himself that he's not giving anything back. The first two rounds Terrific. belong to Michael Spinks. Terrific two-punch combination and a left. Michael Spinks followed that jab in with his head to get inside score heavily there to Cooney. Their heads are very, very close. And it's apparent here at the end of round two that when their heads met that Michael Spinks got... Again, Spinks beating Cooney to the punch. They both threw left and Michael got home. Jerry Cooney has to move, try to cut all in. A minute to go in round three. Now Jerry coming on a little bit. And Michael, when he hesitated, Michael drilled him with his own. 15 seconds to go in the round for Jerry Cooney. <laughs> well, if he's following Michael around, <laughs> just not letting him. Cooney doubling and tripling. Back, he must have stepped on one of the photographers on his way, back, way by there. Two more good left from Cooney. Left jab from Spinks, who is sniping more now, hitting and moving away. Call the ring and never feel the ropes on his back, Michael Spinks. There he is scoring one good punch inside. Beating Cooney to the punch. Good right to the body by Cooney. Spinks, the aggressor, returns. Cooney block. You can go around either side, you go over or under. But sometimes you just have... The key is how well he picks his spots. Cooney backing on fight evolves in chapters, but when it's hard to believe Rick Cooney, which he has done here in the first half of round five. Good right hand by Spinks. And Cooney is well. hurt. Cooney is hurt. Cooney, much as he was against Holmes, can't defend himself. Cappuccino man. He is not all right. He's desperate. And this fight could very well be stopped if Michael could continue this pace. Cooney is not throwing at all. No three knockdown. This fight is over. Jerry Cooney cannot defend himself. He doesn't know how to grab. He's not holding on at all, and he's not fighting back. He's just taking punches. There's one punch of retaliation. He backs off, and Cooney walks right to him. Spinks may be arm-weary, but Cooney can't stop him. And, and Cappuccino's got to stop Jerry. it. That's all, Jerry. Here, Alex, the first knockdown. Michael Spinks took off round four, but he came out in round five, used the jab, and then power punches with both hands right on the inside. Cooney had no punching room at all. And you see Michael just landing punch after punch. Cooney trying to back off to get some room to breathe. Spinks right in his face. Very accurate punches. Wasted very few punches in putting down Jerry Cooney there. Let's take a look at knockdown number two. You see Jerry Cooney's face on the receiving end. Again, Spinks right inside. Cooney completely unable to tie him up to get by himself any time. Not getting any punches off the zone, just taking punches. The overhand right on the temple area. Michael Spinks and Eddie Futch said they could hurt Jerry Cooney to the temple, and Cooney went down again. And 
Let's take a look here at the final stoppage of the fight. Cooney on the ropes, trying to defend himself, but Spink's accuracy just going through whatever defense Jerry Cooney was able to put up. And there's Frank Cappuccino stepping in and saying it's all over. Official time, two minutes, 51 seconds of the fifth round. Referee Frank Cappuccino decrees that this fight cannot go on. Cooney helpless in his own corner. 